So we just learned how to go into an individual part of our image and change something specific in that framing. In this lecture, what I want to do is focus on the outpainting function, where we're doing the exact opposite. We're actually going to take our original frame and extend it and create new pixels that uh, dynamically match up with our previous artwork and extend it into a large piece of art. So let's hop into it. So here's the image we were just working on and here's our generation frame that we were moving around for our outpainting function. What I'm gonna do now is move it to the edge while still retaining some part of the original image in the, out, uh, in the generation frame box so that Dolly can generate a new frame that's gonna match the style and extend the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then go up to the prompt and type in clouds with a modern mansion. I'm gonna hit generate and we'll see how Dolly decides to extend our image. So here are our options. This first option is a little bit too clip arty. The second option did a good job of blending and really taking these clouds and extending it. It's not as believable with this type of building, of course does not match this style of our base image because the generation frame wasn't extended into this style of building. Another option that does a really good job of blending our clouds. And then this last option that doesn't really do too good of a job blending the image. So let's go ahead and just accept this one. And let's go to a different part of the frame. And let's go ahead and extend out this part of the image. So I have the part that I want highlighted. And for this option, I don't wanna generate any new buildings. I'm gonna type in clouds and sky so that Dolly can extend this image further out. Perfect, here are our options. This did an excellent job of extending the frame. That's pretty good as well. That looks spot on. So let's go ahead and hit accept. And here's what we've done to change our image just in a few seconds. Now as a second example, what I wanna do is start off with a different base image. So I'm gonna to go to the home page and I'm gonna scroll and see what would be another cool opportunity of an image to extend. Let's go ahead and extend this frame because this actually has a little bit more of a practical use. So I think this will be a great example to use. Let's click this one, go to edit, choose our generation frame Let's go ahead and extend this out. And I'm gonna actually keep the original prompt and let's see what Dolly does. And here are our options. That's pretty on point. This one was pretty good. That one, not so much. And that one is okay as well. So there's good parts and bad parts about each image. I think this one looks the most interesting. Now we know what Dolly does when you keep the same prompt. And as a very last example, I want to extend the image this way and change the prompt completely. So let's do a library with bookshelves and windows with light. Let's hit generate and here are our options. That one's pretty funny. That's interesting. So it really took the prompt best here by putting the bookshelves, it didn't give me an entire library, but it did a really good job in all of these options of extending the frame really seamlessly. So that's one of the strong points of this function, which is seamlessly extending your frames.